So I just had this message come to me about who the feminine arts is for. And, oh, it's becoming really clear to me that the feminine arts is for the woman who feels like she wants to be able to bring her authenticity into her offerings, her work, her creation, what she's offering to the world, to her relationships. Um, if you're feeling like there's like a layer underneath that you haven't experienced yet, you haven't touched on, or or you can see it, but you're just really wanting to feel safe enough or confident enough or able to express that part of yourself in everything that you do, because you know that like that power um, would really like shift um, how it feels to be sharing your offering or how it feels to be inside of your relationships. You can just feel that like bringing that flavor is like that edge. It's like that tipping point that would shift everything for you. And um, things would start to feel so much better, so much freer, um, so much more fulfilling, so much more gratifying um, to be bringing that layer inside of you that's been yearning to be um, expressed and to be um, connected to. You know, if you're feeling just like, oh my gosh, this offering that I'm bringing like uh, is scary and I want to be able to like be okay being vulnerable because I know a part of myself is in this offering and it feels like um, a little bit um, exposing to share my personal story of like maybe why I came into this or what you're struggling with. Um, to feel safe enough to to bring that um, to what you're doing and to to share that and to be seen in that um, because that's your unique thing that you bring to what you're sharing you know like that vulnerable piece is is why you're able to share that offering it's why you're qualified to share that offering is because you've been through it you are it and um, to practice being comfortable in that or at least to be able to practice leaning into that because my practice of sharing vulnerably or cutting through like the the cloud of uncomfortability by um, sharing what's actually happening for me is not easy but it's something that I've practiced leaning into and I've shared this in my post my recent post about like the four stages of intimacy you know the first being seeing the walls the second being seeing what's behind the walls and like tasting it becoming aware of it practicing going there third step is building trust in going there often through embodiment practices like behind the wall um sharing that vulnerable space and the fourth stage is practicing sharing that vulnerability with another um through two body practice or group practices where the container is set to practice being seen so this is why the feminine arts has been created is so that you can practice um, being seen in that vulnerable space that um, is within you so that you can feel confident in sharing your creation, your creativity, your creations, um, building that relationship with yourself in the way that really allows you to trust um, what's coming through you and to trust that um, it's valuable to to be authentic and to be open and to and 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 the fear of being exposed is just the fear of your own power it's the fear of actually having it happen actually having um, actually realizing your purpose and what you're here to bring um, like that's really about what that fear of exposure is about is like that fear that like wow like i can actually do this like you can and um, we're going to be practicing going there in in many different ways um so that you can be comfortable or at least be able to feel your capability of leaning into the edge of being seen in your femininity in your creative expression so if you want to join us in this container we're going to be spending six weeks together um, I'll be leading the space. I'll be collaborating with other beautiful offerings, beautiful women that are going to be sharing their offerings in this container so that you can practice different modalities of like different pathways of connecting inwards and expressing what you find um, outwardsly. And um, every week we're going to be allowing 
um, the different arts or the different pathways to merge with one another so that you're playing different notes um, all together and creating at the end a masterpiece that you will be expressing and, and sharing with us um, that's coming from a place deep within you. Like what wants to come through? What wants to be seen? What element um, of yourself are you, are you ready uh, to let the world see? And that'll be our final week, what we do in the last week of the Feminine Arts Program. So there's going to be room for us to create and to grow together and to explore together and to play in this magnificent realm of the mysteries and, um, yeah, being comfortable swimming in the unknown and, and being with what's there and being together in it. So I'm really looking forward to this winter being in practice with you guys. We're going to start in January. So if you are ready and feeling that call to join us in this container of the feminine arts, you can send me a DM or there'll be a link below. <sighs> yes, I look forward to meeting more of my people because I know you're out there and I know that we share a similar mission um, of being fully expressed in our creativity. And um, I'm really looking forward to walking this path with you. All right, see you inside.